it's a really good experience for them. It lets them, you know, really step inside the shoes of a person that cares voices. And what we get people to do is they have MP3s, and on the MP3s there are my voices, Dale's voice and Shirley's voice. Some are demanding voices, some are horrible voices, some are lovely voices. We go about doing normal things in our activities that we do every day, like answer the phone or do TT Tordia or do a game or some of some sort, just to so people can get a, an inkling of what it's like to hear voices for the people with experience of schizophrenia. We get lots of reactions. People are like totally blown away. Most of them, <laughs> you know, they're really happy that they could have the experience, but at the end of the day, take the MP3s off whereas someone that hears voices can't turn it off, can't turn it up, can't turn it down. I do TT Tordia, which is Māori stick game. While they're listening to the MP3 players, I try and get them to do three things at once. That's hand-eye coordination, pairing with a partner, trying to communicate with the partner on what actions they need to do, get them to sing a song at the same time. They come away either very confused because they couldn't keep up, or they walk away feeling like they actually got a glimpse into what it would be like, so they kind of reflect back on their own work practices. I mean, that could be like taking a tangata fai order to wince, trying to get a food grant, and because of the voices, you know, they have to talk to the case manager, um, belay what they need, fill out a form and all those sorts of things <clears throat> so you know it's kind of giving them an inkling of what it might be like for the tangata whai ora. Mm. Nine out of ten times in our evaluations they talk about how the distraction of singing and doing the actions and the distraction how it was actually good for them because they're not thinking about the voices and then in their own way they kind of uh, try to block it out and doing that exercise kind of helps them. In the past I was on 28 medications a day, now I'm on five. That was 20 years ago but where I was then and where I am now, I'm back working, I'm cooking, I'm cleaning, I'm doing my hobbies, singing and guitar, and I'm getting out there and swimming and just doing all the normal things that I thought that I had lost. Key things that helped me get to, to where I am today is just having the love, care and kindness that I receive from my family, my doctors, my nurses, my support workers, um, my best friend, my partner Dale. I have a few little rules that I have for myself. I shouldn't hurt others, I shouldn't hurt myself. I try and love myself, I try and love and respect others. And those are just little things that I go by every day. Having been from manic to depressed to suicidal, come a long way in 20 years. I love life now. I like it a lot more than what I did back then when I first got sick. Oh.